What is up, old gamers? Welcome to the Emirate of Jabal Shamar, is its full name, versus Iran. Back in Supreme of the Great War, doing another World War One versus here. Uh, well, first things first. I can't deploy any more units. Uh, the Emirate of Shamar, aka Saudi Arabia, in the future. Uh, doesn't have any units because this nation was recently added from an update for uh, the game. I guess once uh, the Great War went into Ultimate, they added Emirate of Jabal Shamar as an independent nation, playable. And uh, of course, since it is a new playable nation that was added, there are no units. It has no units, so I had to uh, improvise and build a fabrication base just so I can build some units. You know, again. I don't know what I can do <laughs> with zero units. What am I supposed to uh, show as a versus? I wanted to play this nation in the Great War, and uh, of course, it only has it has no units. So what am I gonna do? Just talk to talk you guys into boredom, and uh, you know, just scream at Iran to just surrender at the screen probably. So that ain't gonna work. So I opted on building a land fabrication and build some units and. Again, as I said, a units unable to deploy. I was building another additional level units here. As you can see, infantry, cavalry, that's about it. And some factories here and there just to get the economy going. As you can see, 693 GDP surpasses Great, ben Great Brent and a bunch of other nations currently. Uh, let me check the uh, leaderboards here. 693 in GDP. I'm number one when I surpassed... Denmark, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and even the U.S. as well. Look at that. Uh, total army staff, 13,000, which isn't that bad, I guess. Again, during World War One, most of the nations have 100,000. Some have like around 30, 50,000. But you know what? 13,000 ain't so bad. But I can't deploy the other units, so that's the problem. Pull ranking 14, et cetera, et cetera. You guys get the gist. So yeah, I was building oil gas fields, which really doesn't matter. Oil really doesn't matter during this time. Using only infantrymen and cavalry. Uh, military goods, consumer goods, that's very important. And power. Uh, what does Italy offer me? Industrial goods? I'll accept that. Screw it. And they also start off as a... Uh, what is it? A entity leaning as well. But since I just randomly started supporting, supporting wars for Austria-Hungary and Germany... I started leaning more towards the central powers now, but that really doesn't matter since this is a quick versus against Iran. So, 10 units, that's all I can deploy. I've got about mm, a few recons, a few infantrymen, uh, that's about it I can use against Iran. Iran, I've played as them before, they've got a couple of units, more units than the uh, Emirate of Shamar. And speaking of which guys, again, I have that contest going on right now on Patreon. Give away a $10 Steam gift card plus a Crunchyroll gift card and maybe, again, a game of my choosing if I feel like it. And that Halloween contest is also right around the corner as well where I'll be giving away between 5 to 10 games for that. So, you guys, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And it means that you guys are supporting my videos, this channel, and all my other social media accounts, even my Twitch. And, again, if you want to check out my rewards and get some of those exclusive rewards... And joining the patron contest, there's a link below to my patron if you want to support me. Alright, so, uh, let us send our units to, uh, jeez. Wait a minute, there's a river there. Where would I invade Iran? Holy crap, they've got garrisons in each village. This might be game over already, guys. Uh, <laughs> uh, where would I send my units can my units even cross i wonder let me check real quick <clears throat> cavalry cannot cross rivers again they're horses men cannot cross rivers let's just send our units to uh al nasiria here real quick go to fast speed i also uh <clears throat> decommissioned some of my facilities here sea ports my barracks just so i can deploy more units but again this is all i can do and besides, these three infantrymen are going to take ages just to get to the nearest village in the Ottoman Empire. So, 
let's just say seven cavalry men is all I'm gonna use because these infantrymen are gonna take a while. It's gonna be a uh, very quick long versus, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> god dang it, <clears throat> something wrong with my throat. Any scruffy there for no apparent reason. <clears throat> Excuse me. I ran out of a uh, Coca-Cola there. All right, so my horses already made it. Can they cross? Nope. See, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, look at me. They can actually cross through there. Can we cross through here? No, but they can't cross that way. Oh, that sucks. Well, it doesn't matter. We got a little, a little closer. Oh, wow. They're trying to turn back. No, stupid. I wonder if the infantryman can cross. Probably. Can we cross there? No. Wait, go through here. It's a railroad bridge anyway. There you go. So, yeah, these seven, seven cavalrymen. I mean, you guys already are, are going to. You guys are anticipating what's going to happen. A quick succession, a quick victory for Iran here, since they have a lot of uh, units all around the country. Plus, the garrisons. At least one garrison in every small village. There's Europe already in chaos. Wow, what the heck is going on here? Jeez. Wasn't I having trouble in that stream with Italy? I was, that's right. Germany was having trouble against France. I was having trouble against France. But it looks like Germany, Austria, Hungary have this. What is going on? That stream was bizarre, man. That Italian let's play. Don't know what's going on. Speaking of which, I also just surpassed, I haven't checked my subscriber count, but I just surpassed 1,400 subscribers. That's a minor milestone, I guess you can say. Again, major milestones, like 2K subscribers, 5K subscribers. Those are my, my major milestones, but 1,400 subscribers, hey, not bad. That's a milestone right there. So again, guys, thank you so much to all my current and new subscribers on Adobe World Gaming. Welcome. And also, I have a new channel just for my anime content and Let's Plays called Edible World Anime. Link below as well if you want to check that out. I'm going to be uploading my first video probably in the upcoming week. Since I still haven't verified my phone number on the new channel, sadly. So I have a pre-recorded part ready for that channel. Italy is just sending me offers. And it looks like Iran is getting ready. They've deployed and put cavalry in each small village nearby. Oh, man. Sneaky, sneaky, huh? Declare war on Iran. Oh, wait. Where are my infantrymen? Well, they made it to the Ottoman Empire. So, let's see. Can I bring them to Baghdad? Let's do that. <clears throat> oh, yes. They can cross the same way. All right. Sweet. But what's that going to do? They're going to take ages. So, guys. Uh, if you guys were wondering what would happen if I went to war against Iran during World War One, As the Emirate of Shamar, a.k.a. Saudi Arabia. Well, here you guys go. Again, no units at the start of the game, so I had to, you know, build a fabrication and build some of my own units, and that's about it. I can buy units from, you know, some nations, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to use some of my own units. All right, here we go, guys. Let's get this show on the road. I'm going to enter through here. All right, here they come. They're, re they're retreating. I got them started. What's going on? Where are they going? What the... They went in to hide? Really? Right, let's take this uh, small village. Fun A. There we go. I can add a garrison. Sweet. My first garrison. I mean, I do have uh, 1800 reserve right now. It's uh, slowly but surely going up. But it still says reserve, reserve personnel low. That ain't enough. It's not going to cut it. <clears throat> Infantryman. Cool. Alright, let's back out of that. And get the village there. There we go. Are they really not gonna do anything? I don't wonder why they flee. I got scared. Tehran, no garrisons, but they also have artillery, by the way. I forgot to uh, point that out. War declared Ottoman Empire. I wanna support the Ottoman Empire in this. War declared as me. You guys still like me? Yes. It looks like I'm fully central powers aligned now. Yeah, I am. <laughs> That's pretty weird. Oh, uh, I guess we can support the Ottoman Empire here. Are they, uh, yeah, they're central powers. It doesn't matter. 
All right, let's keep going. Can I really take Tehran with just seven cavalrymen? I wonder. That that's gonna be the most lopsided versus I've ever done, especially for the Great War during World War One. Because again, Iran here has the upper hand. They're deploying a lot of infantrymen now. More gar—I mean, not garrisons, but more cavalry are being sent out. More units being deployed. Well. It's going to be a little short-lived, probably. <laughs> Alright, guys. Hurry up. Let's go. You guys can make it. Maravan. Add a garrison there. Keep going here. How are my supplies? Not too shabby. Alright, we got our first kill against the cavalry. There we go. So far, so good. 4-0 and oh right now. I mean, I could probably deploy two other cavalries that I still have in my uh, reserves over there back in Riyadh. Oh, nice. Can I actually do it with just these six units? No way. There is no... Or seven. There's no way. Nah, that's, I'm taking too much damage from that. But I still destroyed him. The heck? Let them come this way. Let them come to the village. My infantrymen have arrived. Sweet. And I'm also going to try to see if I can do... Just one. Damn it. And that took my reserve down. <clears throat> Iran also has a few patrol ships. Or submarines, I should say. Oh, patrol ships. What? Patrol ship Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan? Isn't that a... Yeah, that is an ex-Soviet country up there. Iran is not in control of Azerbaijan, though. Russia is. That's weird. They got a patrol ship named Azerbaijan. I guess there's some history for that. I don't know. You guys know more than I do in history. I just, I'm just here to, you know, do verses and take nations <laughs> upon your request. <clears throat> but the cavalry is OP though against infantry. Put this guy in the back here. Let's give him a break and destroy the infantrymen. There we go. Guys! Guys! What's going on? <laughs> Not again. This is another bizarre verse. This is going to take a while, though, just to reach Tehran. They've already put another garrison there. It'll be a while before they overwhelm me anyway. I'm already out of ammo, out of ammunition. There's my other uh, horseman. They won't accept peace though. $79 billion. They destroyed all my infantrymen? I wasn't even paying attention. They did. That sucks, dude. There, I took that. Destroyed him. Put a garrison in Sanandaj. Region falls. German civil. Oh. It's a colony. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> Come this way, cavalry. We can easily destroy both of these guys. Yeah. Damn! Alright. Alright. Now they're bringing everything. Full armada coming now. Headed my way. Got a lot of infantrymen coming now. But I could probably destroy them easily. I wonder. Oh, man. I should have done that in the first place. Maybe. I'm just thinking right now. I mean, again, Montenegro and Serbia have been eliminated by Austria-Hungary. But uh, cavalry and infantrymen do not require any uh, fuel whatsoever. They do need ammo, though. But still, I could have probably 50-50... Destroy those units in Tehran and just take over the capital just like that and just hold it off and they'll be eliminated just because again we don't need fuel here. So if I send one cavalry out, see what happens. I'm just gonna sacrifice this guy, screw it. For the video. <laughs> but as you can see I can just take as much territory as I want. Just because I'm using no fuel. 
Oh, but I'm gonna get surrounded. You're not gonna stop me. Come and chase me. The time is done. Damn, I gotta go for another five minutes there. No, you're now this way up. Yes, I'm still alive. How far can I re? Oh wait, that's it. You can't go anywhere. You can still make it. Come on, it's the mountains. Oh, that's a lot of a uh, cavalry. All right, this might be it. But I'm destroying them one by one. This video can seriously go on forever. But I really don't want it to go forever. I don't want it to be 30 minutes. He got destroyed. Damn it. But look at that, dude. <laughs> I'm just taking them out. Like nothing. Like I eat my fucking pancakes in the morning. Why well, do even eat pancakes in the morning? Just on the weekends. But shit, dude. Especially the ones at McDonald's. Hot cakes, man. Those are bomb. Oh, he's almost dead. Ah, he hit in the, the village. 35 unit kills, 4 unit losses. Really, Ron, you really don't want to, you know, kind of surrender there? I'll give you... <laughs> oh, that's too much money. Oh, man, I almost made a mistake there. Give you $1 billion. Just so we can end this. Just to show my viewers, you know, what happens. I mean, this is all I can do right now. I really can't do anything else. Can't deploy more units. Like a reserves. Oh, they destroyed one of my cavalry already. All I can do is go back and forth. This fight, basically, with horses. And take each unit one by one out. God dang it. There we go. Hey, look at that. I got more than 40, unit, 40 kills there. They're trying to surround me here, though. <laughs> I don't know what you guys think about this. Leave your comments below on what you guys think about this versus. I know it's not what you guys think, but again, this is World War One. There's nothing much I can do. There we go. We can keep going and destroy this guy here. Yep. We can also view the Empire real quick. That's the most territory I'm probably going to get out. One more. Hey, Ron, please. Come on, man. Do it on video. It's rare for me to uh, get or sign peace treaties. <laughs> but I know that this is going to take a while. And if I... If the Emirate of Shamar did have uh, more units, if I built... Probably 30 units, at least 30 units, mostly cavalry. Then I could probably easily eliminate Tehran. I mean, come on, just one to two garrisons. Most of their units are coming this way, one by one, and I'm destroying their infantry and cavalry at the same time, easily, like butter. So I could have had a chance if I could deploy all those units, you know, to eliminate the Emir Ashmar. Yes! Oh, sweetness. Oh, it is, look, they just accept it just like that. Well, there you guys have it. As I said, this is the best I can do with the Emirate of Shamar. I took a chunk of uh, Western Iran. They were like, okay, we've had enough. We just let them have it. <laughs> there you guys have it. That is the Emirate of Shamar. That's all I can do. Ottoman Empire, Great Britain going one-on-one -on -one again over there. But again, guys, that's about it. Uh, again, patron contest still going on. You can check it out. Plus exclusive rewards on there. One dollar for the recruit tier. Five dollars for the plus tier. No, is it the plus tier? Yes, plus tier, and then the elite tier for the ten dollars. More again, more rewards in each, and then a uh, an elite and master tier coming soon. Plus more. And again, guys, you can request new verses. Again, I'm trying to play new verses as different nations and I know that this is Saudi Arabia I've done them before but not during World War One so this counts so again guys leave your suggestions subscribe like and again guys thank you so much for everything it means a lot and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>